welcome to my makeshift classroom. Um, I started making videos for my fifth grade students and then got a couple requests from parents to help out with other grades. So here I am teaching the US standard algorithm for addition in Massachusetts. This gets introduced in fourth grade. Um, other states could be different, but um, if anyone wants a different topic covered, please email me at connellymathathome at gmail.com. I'll do my best to cover the topic and get the video back out there for your own kids, for your own students, for you to help your kids. Um, I know parents, we learned math a long time ago and things are different now. So if you need help with the way that your child's learning this crazy math <laughs> these days, feel free to reach out. So in on my YouTube channel, there are different videos about adding two digit by two digit, adding three digit by three digit, and the strategies taught through the grade levels. I just wanna remind you that those are great strategies, even if you are learning the standard algorithm for addition. Um, this is a procedure, and I'm gonna teach it so you understand what's happening, so that you understand why this procedure works. Um, it's a good strategy, especially when we're working with really large numbers, but just remember there's other strategies that you know that are efficient and um, make you a flexible math thinker. So don't skip over learning those other strategies. So let's get started. The US standard algorithm for addition, ones place is lined up with the ones place, tens is lined up with the tens, hundreds with hundreds, and there's no thousands in this number, so that is why that thousand is sitting there by itself. Um, always important to make sure place values are lined up when you're using the US standard algorithm for addition. Remember that with decimals, people, your place values gotta get lined up. Anyways, sorry, little fifth grade note in there. But in order to help you understand what's happening in each step of the standard algorithm, I wrote 2,758 over here in expanded form. Um, and then obviously the same with 767, 767. Um, and I'm going to be doing the steps over here at the same time I do them over here so you understand what's happening in each step. Okay, so here we go. Um, we are gonna start in the ones place with eight plus seven. And as you know, eight plus seven is 15, okay? So we're gonna get 15. But what happens in the standard algorithm is you're gonna take the digit that's in the ones place and put it underneath the ones place. What happens with this extra group of 10, because we have 15 ones here, but that means that we have a group of 10 and five ones, that extra group of 10 gets carried over above the tens place, okay? So what's happening over here is I put the five down and I carried that group of 10. So you see where my 15 is and that's why that one is appearing up there. Next, we're gonna think about the tens place. So really what we have going on is 50 plus 60 plus the extra 10 that we carry so that's 120. When you're over here, you're thinking about I have one group of 10 plus five groups of 10 plus six group of, groups of 10, which is 12 groups of 10, which is 120. 10 groups of 10 makes 100. So what we're gonna be doing is we're taking those two groups of 10 and putting them here the two groups of 10 are gonna go here. Those extra 10 groups of um, 10 is actually 100. So we're gonna put those extra group of, groups of 10 over there. So again, one group of 10 plus five groups of 10 is six groups of 10, um, plus six more is 12 groups of 10. I'm gonna leave the two groups of 10 here, the 20, and I'm bringing the other 10 groups of 10 over to the Surprise, the hundreds place. Okay, so I'm carrying that extra group of 100 over to the hundreds place, and that's what's happening there. So now, what I'm thinking about is one group of 100 plus seven groups of 100 plus seven groups of 100, which is 15 groups of 100. 15 groups of 100 is 1,500. So over here, I'm thinking about those 15 groups of 100. I'm going to write my um, 500 here in the hundreds place. Those 15 groups of 100, 10 groups of 100 extra is 1,000. So I'm putting that 1,000 over here. 
And so over here I have 1 plus 7 plus 7 is 15 groups of 100. I'm going to put the 5 in the hundreds place, and I'm going to carry that um, those 10 groups of 100 over to the thousands place, because 10 groups of 100 is 1,000. And that's why we're carrying a 1 right here. So we have 1 group of 1,000 plus 2 groups of 1,000 gets us 3,000. And you see the 2,000 plus 1,000 here is 3,000. So if you think about 3,000 plus 500 plus 20 plus 5, you get 3,525. And that is what is going on when you carry the one. So we're not just carrying the one, it actually means something. When we bring it here, it's because we have an extra group of 10. When we bring it here, we have 10 extra groups of 10, which is 100. When you bring it here, we have 10 extra groups of 100, which is 1,000. And that's why we're carrying ones to the next place value. Okay, so let's look at another one. I won't go over an expanded form um, this time. I'm going to take away a little support each time we do this. So let's think about 3,984 plus 9,642. Okay, so in the ones place now, we have four plus two, which is four ones plus two ones, which is six ones. So no groups of 10, so there's nothing to carry over to the tens place. There's no groups of 10, just six ones. Then we're thinking about the tens place. We have eight groups of 10 plus four groups of 10, which is 12 groups of 10. 12 groups of 10 is the same as 120 because that represents um, 10 groups of 10, the 100. So we're gonna leave those two groups of 10 here. We are gonna carry the other 10 groups of 10 over here to the hundreds place. And that's why, that's what was happening there. Okay, so now we have one group of 100 plus nine groups of 100 plus six groups of 100, which gives us 1,600. 16 groups of 10, 1,600. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the six groups of 100 and put them in the hundreds place. These extra 10 groups of 100 get carried, which is 1,000, get carried over to the thousands place. So now we have 1,000, one group of 1,000 plus three groups of 1,000 plus 9,000 which gives us 13,000, 13 groups of 1,000. So when we think about this, um, there is no other place value in our equation right now. So you're gonna write your full 13 groups of 1,000 down here. If you carry over here, you'll realize there's nothing to add and the one just comes down. Um, just be careful because sometimes kids do write that extra one up there. I did one plus three plus nine. I got 13. I put the three, carry the one. And if you're not lined up perfectly, you could add the one plus the nine again. So just be careful. Realize when you're getting to the end, there's nowhere else to carry your 10 groups of a thousand to, which is 10,000. So you're just going to write it down. Okay. So to review, when we have, um, 8 plus 4 is 12. It was 12 groups of 100. You bring the extra 10 groups of 100 or 10 groups of 10 over here, you get 100, and that's why we're carrying to the next place value because you have 10 extra groups of that place value. You gotta put it somewhere. Okay? So now I'm gonna do one more, and this time I'm just gonna be thinking about the digits because the point of the standard algorithm is that you can somewhat place place value to the side and think about just adding digits. And that's what we learned when we were, when we were, when us adults were children, we learned to just add it up, digit, digit, carry the one. We didn't know what was going on. At least I didn't. I don't know about the rest of you. But now I understand. <laughs> so anyways, let's try one more. So we have 3,678 plus 8,422. And this time, I'm just going to talk about digits, even though there is a lot of meaning. Okay, We know what each place value stands for. We know what the carrying means now. We went over it. But I want to make sure that you get the point of the algorithm, which is like just doing it, think about the digits. 
So, but you are understanding. 8 plus 2 is 10. So we put the 0 down and carry the 1. Okay? 7 plus 2 is 9. Plus 1 more is 10. So again, the digit 0 comes down. We carry the 1. 6 plus 4 is 10. Plus 1 more is 11. Don't forget to add what you carry. Sometimes that happens. Since it's 11, we put a 1 here and carry the 1. And then 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 8 more is 12. There's nothing to carry to here, so we write the full 12 down, and we have 12,100. It was painful for me to not actually explain what was going on, but I, I do know that when we perform the algorithm, we can think about just 7 plus 2 plus 1 and move on. Okay, what I want people to know is that um, I was writing down the digit that was, if I was adding 7 plus 2 plus 1 and getting 10, the digit that was in the ones place when I was just thinking about digits, not place value, this digit went here and this digit was the one that was carried. Okay, so I love it. I'm going to do one more example where I make sure that I make that clear because that's another common mistake that students make is they write down the wrong digit and carry the wrong one. Probably because no one explains them what was going on, but we're, gonna, we're fixing that right now. All right, so 3,897. I'm going to do a lot of uh, carrying here to help out. All right, so when we start over here, 8 plus 7 is 15. Okay, the digit in the ones place stays. The digit in the ones place stays. The digit, um, when we're thinking about just adding digits, this digit is what gets carried over here. Okay, so let's look at what happens in another one. We're thinking about it as just 9 plus 3 plus 1, even though that's not what's happening, it's 9 groups of 10. All right, 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. This digit is staying here. This digit is what gets carried here. Okay, 1, and then you have to make sure you add it in. That's another mistake is kids carry stuff, they don't add it in. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 8 is 10. When we think about this, the zero goes here, we carry this up here, and then eight plus three is 11, plus one more is 12. There's nowhere else to carry, so then we write it down there. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure I made it clear which digit stays, um, but you should be thinking about what actually belongs in the tens place and how many groups of 100 you're carrying over. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful. It helped you understand what's actually happening when we do the standard algorithm for addition. And if you have any other questions, you know how to get at me. Okay, bye.